All right, folks, Mickey Rob's Banks. Got a two box pickup today. Haven't had a nickel for a while because my branch had nothing but 2018 Denver nickel boxes. So they said they think that they got rid of all of them. So let's hope. Let's find out together. I'm ready to get back into the hunt and find some silver. Let's see. Well, there might be a silver ender. Hang on a second. Let me uh, let me pause this here. Oh, what do you guys think? I don't. It looks like that's a mint mark, but I can't quite tell. So I got to take a closer look at it. Might have a war nickel ender. Hold on. All right. Well, that is not a mint mark. It didn't look like it was going to be in the right place for one. So, anyways, so that's not going to be a war nickel ender. But the good news is. We definitely have circulated nickels here. Got some nice circulated nickels here, some older ones. So, we're in good shape for this one. We'll see what's in the next one. All right, folks, Mickey Rouse Banks. I'm into this nickel box, already into the third roll. And I got a 1956, and I got a screaming daughter. 1956 D. We'll see what's in the next. We'll see you on the next one. All right, roll number four and roll number five. I got a 2009 Denver in each. Not a whole lot else going on. I got a couple nice 64 Ds to check for the DDO, or DDRs, I'm sorry. Doubling on the reverses. So, and they actually seem to be in pretty good shape, so it might be a, a little better condition than what I think I found in the, in, the, in the 60s hunt the other day. We'll bring you in on the next find. All right, folks, we're roll number six, and we got into something good here. Got a 1957. I looked at it, and I saw this big, thick rim. I'm like, what is that? Looked like it was an oversized coin. It's thicker on some parts than others. But this is a 1957 proof. And it's probably post mint damage, but there is a nasty one on the edge of the steps right there. So that's going to take any serious value away from this thing, no doubt. But pretty cool still. 1957, only 1,247,952 of these things made. So low mintage coin. One that I don't have a proof of yet. So it'll go in the book for sure. And we'll see what else we got. But so far we've got a 56 and a 57. And one's been approved in just six rolls. So it's looking good. Let's see what we find next. All right. Well, it's probably not because I almost never get it out. But though every time I say that and I pull it out, it is. Now, had a silver look to it, but it's not. All right. We'll bring it back in if there's anything in here we're keeping. All right, there was nothing in roll number seven, but roll number eight, we've got a triple score. Got a 1947, it's gonna be a Denver. Got a 1948, Philadelphia. And a 1956, and it's gonna be a Denver. We'll bring it back in on the next sign. All right, roll number nine, 1954. And it's going to be a San Francisco. I checked it for the S over D. This one surely is not. We'll bring it back in on the next one. All right, folks. Roll number 11. And we have a 1957. And it's going to be a Denver. 57 Denver. That gives me uh, 256s and 257, but one of them's the proof. So we'll bring it back in on the next one. All right, been a few more rolls. Roll number 17. Got 1952. And it's a plane. Starting to put a few together here. See what else we can get. Bring you in on the next one. All right, well, since I got you guys here already anyways, I might as well check this one together. And it's not. 
Look like it could have been silver. Anyways, we'll bring you in if there's any fines. All right, roll number 18. Had one in it, uh, 1940. And it's going to be a plane. We'll take it. We'll bring you guys back in on the next fine. All right, I still had the camera set up, so I figured I'd show you this 2009 Denver that I got. Roll number 19. We'll stick that aside, bring you in if there's anything in the next one. Roll number 21, we got a Canadian, got a foreign. 2000, Canadian beaver. We'll bring you in on the next one. All right, roll number 23, we got 1942. Not silver. It's got the look. It doesn't have the sound. It doesn't have the mark. So gonna be a 42 plane we'll bring you back in on the next one we're getting close silver here we come all right roll number 25 got a 2009 Denver which I wouldn't have shown had I didn't find a 1958 to go with it got a 1958 and it's gonna be a Denver as well we'll bring you guys back in on the next one all right, well, roll number 28, and I guess, again, we're going to be showing a 2009 Denver because that roll also contained in 1941, and the 41 is going to be a plane. We'll bring you back in on the next one. All right, folks, uh, we've been a little quiet here for a second, but we got roll number 36, 1940. And it's a plane. We'll take it. Bring you in on the next one. Roll number 37. 1956. Denver. So it's kind of slow, but it's not, not horrible. Not horrible. Still got a good range of fines. We'll bring you in on the next fine. All right, folks. Roll number 38. Got a 1940. And it's a plane, but this 40 is, I mean, not bad condition. I mean, it, unfortunately, we've got this scratch running up the head of it, and then I got another one running across the side. But other than that, man, this thing is in great condition for a 1940. Too bad for that little bit of damage right there. I mean, I can see most of four different steps on this coin. That's ridiculous. Ugh. Unfortunately, people like to get crazy and beat up coins, and uh, apparently that's what happened to this guy. But anyways, we're going to hold on to it because even with the damage, it's still still better than average. So we'll take that. We'll bring you back in on the next fine. All right, roll number 40. We got our second foreign of the box. Uh, Canadian Beaver, 1987, $0.05. Cent. Elizabeth II. We'll take that. Two foreigns. Not too bad. Let's go silver. It's time. Let's do it. We'll bring it back in on the next fine. Alright, roll number 41. And we got three fines in this roll. We're heating up toward the end of the box. We got the uh, 1947. And it's a plane. Got a 1957. Another 1957. And it's a Denver. And we got this worn 1953. I thought it was a 55 at first. So I immediately flipped to see if it was a Denver. It is a Denver, but it's a 53 Denver. So we'll take those. Bring guys back in on the next one. All right, roll number 42. I don't know if I am current on the right roll, but anyways. We got a 1949, and it's going to be a Denver. Denver 1949 we'll bring it back in if we get another fine all right folks roll number 44 and we have a 1948 this is the enter that we saw in the pickup video well the pickup portion of the video because I didn't make a pickup video and we also got a another 1954 
and it's going to be a Denver this time. And I checked it for the D over S. It's not the D over S. So we'll take that. We'll bring you guys back in on the next one. All right, roll number 45, and we got a 1959. It's typical for my boxes to heat up at the end of the end of the box. Last five rolls, got five more rolls left. This is not one of the last five rolls, but right outside of it, 59 Denver. We'll take it, bring it back in on the next one. All right, roll number 46, and we got a 1959. And it's going to be Denver. Not too bad a shape. We'll bring it back in on the next one. Alright, roll number 49. One more roll to go. And we got two 2009s, which is going to put us pretty close to time for the record. I've got a 1954. A little toning going on to it. And it's a Denver. I haven't checked for the D over S, but I think it's pretty clear with the toning that it's not. Anyways, we'll bring you back in on the next one. All right, folks, well, I was pretty sure I was gonna find silver in this box. Let's see if the last roll is gonna bring it to us. If not, I'm gonna have to show you guys some of my collection or something from my collection. I don't see a lot here telling me. I've got one kind of yellowish. It looked good on the bottom, just toning though. 1992. I'll bring you back in if I find any. Anything else in here. And if I don't find anything else, I'll see you at the wrap up along with a piece of silver. Alright folks, Mickey Robs Banks. I'm here with the wrap up. Let me slide this camera into focus a little bit better. Let me refocus it just to be safe. Alright, well, it's been a minute since I've been in a box, but yet again I did not get silver. So, I think I did on the last box, but no silver on this box. So, here you go. This is your guaranteed silver. Let's bring that into focus. We've got an 1838 seated half dime which is the same as a silver nickel in my book so obviously it's not the same because way older but anyways a five cent piece so i thought this would be a great silver to show you guys um out of my collection and i actually got this from big t coins from a mega pack that i got from him so this is my first my only seated half dime so i'm happy to show you guys that I know you guys have probably seen it in one of my other videos, but again, you know, for those of you that haven't, here it is. And I do have one. It's a little bent up. It's not, you know, the greatest condition. It's rather worn, and I don't see a mint mark on it. It would be on the back, I'm rather sure. However, it's not, there's not one there. So, anyways, got the silver out of the way. Let me refocus for you guys for what else we have here. We have the two foreigns, both uh, 2000 and a 1987 Canadian Beaver. We've got three 1940s and they're all this one's got like an X in his head. I hate that because it was such a good condition coin. Anyways, they're all going to be planes, all the 1940s. I got a 141. I got a 42 non-silver and it's going to be a Philadelphia non-silver. Then we got two 47s and a 248, a 49. We got a 52, a 53. Three 54s, and the 54s, I believe, are two Denvers and a San Francisco. We got three 56s. We've got two 57s, a 58. Two 59s. We've got the 57 proof. I, I included this down here because this is the find of the box. We got the 57 proof. Can't beat that. I mean, you can beat that, but. If it was in a little better condition, maybe, but it has that gouge in the back, and it's it's got some toning going on to it, so you really can't see the proof fields, but it's definitely a proof. I'm sure sure of that. And then we came close to we tying our record again for 2009s. I have seven here. I believe my record is eight, so we got seven here. So pretty good box. Glad to be back in the hunt again. So 
Uh, guys, if you watch this far, please give a like to the video and uh, give a comment if there's anything you think I missed or anything that you feel I should know. Um, I do want to say one thing for sure before we go. I have figured out how I'm going to run this giveaway. I just haven't figured out exactly what the prizes are going to be yet. I've got the rules and regulations figured out, planned out, wrote out. I just have to figure out exactly what the prizes are so that I can get this video up for you guys. So until the next hunt, happy hunting guys. Mickey Robs Banks, signing off.